Uh, give me a uh, Baruch 3 and 8. Bring it up! So, we, we, are, we are in the land of our captivity. We are in the land of our captivity today. And it's only because we want to do what the Lord told us to do. Read what you got. Baruch chapter 3 verse 8. Read. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Hey brother, come here for a sec. Let me talk to you right quick. Read. Listen to this. Listen to this. Baruch chapter 3 verse 8. Bring it out. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. You hear that? We are yet this day in our captivity. Do you think you're a free man? No. Why not? Exactly. It's good so that you know that. Because a lot of people walking around aimlessly, they don't know that we in slavery. Huh? Read. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. So the Lord scattered us because we are we are a uh, extremely huge nation. What's your nationality? What's your father from? You a what now? I can't even hear you. Nation God's nurse. Nation God's nurse. What that means? You a five percent. Did the most high give you that? Did God give you that at the Bible? You a five percenter? Where did you get that from? I get it from? Yes. I'm a black man, but I stand on the ship. I'm a body of the universe. I'm a body of the vessel. Hey, let me ask you a question. Go to Colossians 2 and 8. Hey, I got get a up. question for you. Get the up. nation of God's on earth. They they believe in a lot of different philosophy. There's a lot of uh, different philosophy, correct? Yes. Like 5% know they're righteous. The 10% are the, the, the basically the taskmasters. And they, they, they basically push the 85 is in whichever way they go, right? Okay, I want, I want you to hear something. Get out! Come on, read, read. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Get out! I'm not sure what the Bible says. We go by what the Bible says. Listen to this. Beware, lest any man spoil you. So the Bible says, beware, beware. Don't take in everybody's and, and what, something that's going to spoil you. Okay, read it again. Beware, lest any man spoil you. Beware, lest any man spoil you. Through philosophy. Stop. Through philosophy. The five percent nation. What nationality do they teach that they are? Because the word nation. God's house. Give me God's life. So the universe. Okay, and you you, you ever heard that Bible where it says ye are gods, right? You heard that before, right? Yes. Alright, I want you to I'm, I'm gonna read a few. I want you to hear something about that scripture. No. You're right, we are gods. You know that brother? You know where God's on this earth? You know that, right? That feels good, don't it? That to hear that we're a god. You know that. Brother, brother right here. You know we're gods. You know we're gods, brother? Brother in the red hat, the black hat. He, he got headphones in. Read it. So, so we're gonna hear something. We're gonna read a few now. Psalms 82 and 6. Psalms chapter 82, verse 6. Let's see what the Bible says. I have said. God had said that what? Ye are God. You know that you are God, brother? You know that? Read it again loud and strong, man. I have said. God said. Ye are God. The black, Hispanic, and Native American man don't even understand. He is a God on the earth. That's right. Y'all don't even understand that. So, you know what the 5% nation does, brother? We hear that in the Bible, then we close the Bible. Let's keep reading and see what it says. And all of you are the children of the Most High. We're the children of God. The black man is the children of God. The black woman, okay? The Hispanic man, the Hispanic woman. Read. But, how, however, ye shall die like men. Uh-oh, there's a problem. The Bible says we're God's brother, but we're gonna die like men. Right. Why are we dying like men? Why is the so-called white man able to shoot us down in the middle of the damn street? How is the white man uh, oppressing the gods on the earth? How? Y'all tell me. Born a supremacist, that's all. I can't hear you. They're born a supremacist. We put on our pants just like they put on their pants. Say it again? We put on they, they put on their pants just like so we put on we, our pants. Right now, are we the black men? Are we in a godly state? Nope. Yeah, yeah. We're we in a godly right now? Yeah, we is. Yeah? We're working our yeah. How so? Yeah. 
How so? How are we in the garden? You, you agree with that? We in war every day. Yeah. Okay, every we're in war every day. We're in war. So right now, we're not gods on the earth. Right. No. We gotta we, pay bills to the white man just for water. Bring it out. Right. We gotta pay rent. Right. We well, gotta go work for them. That's right. right. You understand? We, we gotta pay cell phone bills to them. Bring we gotta pay for everything we get, brother. Right. So go back to Colossians 2 and 8. So the scripture says, yes, we're gods. However, because we don't follow the most high God's laws, we're gonna die like men. Right, We're gonna right. die like the other nations are set up to die. Right. You understand? Because a God ain't supposed to die. You know y'all was set up to live forever? Y'all know that? Bring it out! Why, why are we in that state now? Because we're in the midst of sin. That's right. Sin. We're not following our God. So now since we're not following our God, who we follow? The damn white man. Bring it out! Yeah. You follow Esau, the, the white man. White yeah. Jesus. You got his philosophy in your brain. When you smoking, guess whose philosophy that is? Right there. Bring it up! You understand? Because you're killing yourself. You're defiling your temple. Read. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware. Beware. Let, lest any man spoil you. See that, you. brother? It says, beware lest any man spoil you. The 5% nation does not teach us who we are. Because I know the 5% nation still pull out guns. They still... They still hustle, they still deal drugs, they do all those things to each other. That's what we do, brother. Read. Do philosophy. Don't let no man spoil you through another man's philosophy. Vain philosophy, right? Read. In vain deceit. And what? In vain deceit. See that, brother? What you're gonna learn today is that we're the Israelites according to God. That's, That's right. No 5% nation. Do you understand? A nation consists of laws, moral code, what do we eat, what holidays we celebrate, it up. we ain't got that, even in the 5% nation. You what understand that, know? brother? What language we spoke, we don't have that. What? The 5% nation say, oh, we're an Asiatic black man. You know? What yeah. does that mean? That's a half I can't hear you. That's a half Okay, but that's what the Bible said. They should say that we're an Asiatic black man. You understand that's what I'm saying? That's not true. Huh? That's not true in a certain extent. Okay, so if you so go back and look at, if you just go back and look at uh, prophecy, Muhammad, the way his skin tone is. Muhammad? Yeah. Uh, yeah, what about him? Louis Farrakhan, he was a multiversal skin tone. Okay. He went got more than one multiple race and brought him in there to the nation. Okay. But if you go back right to the temple, had this more than one color race, but okay. they still consider black. Okay, so. What you're talking about is who created the black race, who called it black, and so forth. Yeah. Guess what? There's many, there's many nationalities within a black race. The actual, the, the ancient uh, Arabs were what? Black. Bring it out. The East Indians, black. Yeah, the ancient right. Chinese were black. Yeah. But they were still your slave master. That's right. right. You know they were called black. That's we're talking about the Israelites. That so-called black nation. That's the nation you're from. Let me let me prove it. Deuteronomy 28. Let me prove it to you. Because guess what? How did our people get over here um, to America? How do we get here? When we was on the west coast of Africa, how do we get here? Anybody know? Slave ship. Slave ship. Guess what, brother? Do you believe that's in the Bible? Let's find out. What do, mean, what do you mean by that? To a certain degree. No, they don't. They don't talk about the slave ship, but they talk about the slave master. No, they don't talk about the slave ship. Because we can, bro, I'm about to read you slave not ships right now in the Bible, brother. Deuteronomy 20 and 68, and then Exodus 20. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Stop. So the Bible says God is going to bring us into Egypt. You ever seen the Ten Commandments movie? Okay, you ever seen that? Okay. What were the Hebrews doing in Egypt? Were they chilling with everybody else? With, with the Egyptians? What were they doing? They was linking up. They was linking up. They was linking up. What does that mean? They were slaves. They were slaves. Slave. Slave. You ever heard, you ain't heard the, all the same? Oh, they were like a Hebrew slave. They slaves. You know what I'm saying? The, the Israelites were slaves in Egypt, okay? We okay. slaves. They were Lord, you can so bring me into Egypt. Stop. So God said, I'm going to bring you back into slavery again. A second time. With ship. With what? With ship. Wait, how do we get over here again? Ship. Bible prophecy fulfilled. 
We are the walking products of Bible prophecy. That's, That's right. your history. I'm reading in the Bible. It's not the Jewish man's history. No. That didn't happen to him. Yes. That happened to the people in Israel today. We no. know they Jewish. That happened to our fathers and mothers. That's our history. Yes. And I'm right. reading to you in the Bible. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt slavery again the second time with ships. With ships. How do we get over here? Cargo slave ships. There's more. Read. By the way we're up, I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We don't even know our homeland. Our homeland is Jerusalem, yeah. not, not the continent of Africa. What? Jerusalem is our homeland. Read. And there. And there, when you get off the boats, what happened to us when we got off the boats? What happened to us? Did we just chill out and do whatever we wanted? Start our own businesses, start our own little farm? Did we do what we wanted to do? No. What do we do, brother? Because we're about to read it. What do we do? When the, when the boat docked, what did we do? Did we do what we wanted to do? Let the brother read. Huh? Let the brother read. Let's let him read. read. And there what? He shall be sold unto your enemy. Wait a minute. Did y'all know this is in the Bible? You know this is in the Bible, brother? That we'll be so tired. You know that? So you know that you know your nationality in the Bible. You know this is your history. So you know you're an Israelite. You know that. I can't hear you. You're from the island. What that mean? Everybody in the islands have culture, history more than Americans do. Damn! Woo! Say that again, our brother. Say it again. Say our it culture again. is richer than America is. Our oh. culture is why America became America. We came here from Christopher Columbus ship. We came here on the ships. All the slaves who came here. My grandfather was a slave. His mom was a slave. His dad was a slave Who's master. A slave? Who? My grandma was a slave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My grandfather was a slave. Yeah. Y'all listen to that? His, yeah. his dad was a slave master. And Share his father. And, wait, wait. Your father was a slave master? Share proper. Like their own land. Okay. Their own land. Now, what's your father's nationality? He's uh, Indian and East black. Indian? Indian and black. East Indian? Uh, Western Indian. Oh, so, so Indian. Like, like Native American Indian kind of. Uh, not ready, but like the, the, the Arabian, the Arawak, yeah. the Arawak. Arawak. Okay, but so guess what? You're our people. Okay, you're from one of these tribes right here. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Same with y'all. This is your identity here. The reason we kill each other and hate our each other's guts because Esau, the so-called white man, took our identity. What? Now we look at each other like we're the damn enemy. You understand? Yeah, but we're the same damn people that came on the same damn slave ship. You understand? Read it again. Read. And there ye shall be sold. The Bible says when we get off the slave ships, we will be sold. To who? Unto your enemy. Whoa, wait a minute. Y'all hear that? The Bible says a group of people are going to be sold when they get off the slave ships to their enemies. So we cannot take on their culture. You understand? That's right. the so-called white man. Right. God said they are your enemies. That's right. Your enemies. Not your buddies. Not your friends. Not, not to be drinking with them at the damn bar after work. God said they're your enemy. Read it again. Y'all understand that? That's your identity according to the Bible. Your identity is you are the Israelites. You ain't black. You ain't Negro. You're not African American. Well, what do they call us today, sis? What do they call us? What have you been taught that we, that our identity is? Everything. Why? Why does our nationality keep changing? The East Indian man's nationality don't change. Oh, yeah. The Chinese man's nationality don't change. But for some strange reason, every couple of decades, our identity just changed. You know That's why? Because right. we are God's chosen people. That's right. right. And they took your culture. Whoa. Read it again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Read. For bond men. For, and, for slave men. And bond woman. And slave woman. Read. And no man shall buy you. And no man try, is going to redeem you. Guess who, Mom, who, who tried to redeem us? Who tried to redeem black people out of the condition they're in? We had Martin Luther King. We had Malcolm X. Bring it up. Marcus Garvey. All Nat they Turner. They Harriet Tubman. You understand? And did any of them succeed? No. Why? Because Bible prophecy said what? No man is going to save you out of that condition. That's right. That's in right. Jeremiah 17 and 4. Bring it up. Y'all understand? Bring so you, you, come, come look at your identity here. Come and see where, where do you fit on in the sun. 
Come, come see. Come and look at this sign. I want y'all to look at this sign. Huh? All Judah. All praise to the Most High. All praise. Right. So give me that uh, Genesis 36, 29. Bring it up. What do you know about the tribe of Judah? What do you know? What does the word Judah mean? Um, anybody know? It's one, one of the 12 tribes, and it's been used for the other people coming to Judah. What, what's, your, what's your ideal father's identity? Native American. Native American. So you're from the tribe of Gad. Right. You understand? You're, 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 you was here first. This is your land. Now you got to pay taxes. Now you now you need to go get a driver's license to drive on your streets. Guess what? And they don't even, they don't even white folks. They ain't even killing us no more. They turn ourselves onto ourselves. Hear what the young man said? He said it's not even really them killing each other, killing us no more. It's us turning on each other. Exactly. How did that happen? Exactly. Read on. Read it. The Jeremiah 17 and 4. I'm gonna show you how that happened. Because you're right. We kill each other every night in the ghettos of America. You, you agree, brother? Right. I agree with you. Very good. Okay, guess what? Everybody killing anybody. These days, they don't Is care. That right? They don't care. Is black people You can be Judah, you can be Baptist, I whatever. I ask you a question. Are black my, people, my, 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 wait, are black people, young black men, killing white folks? Yes or no? You got that going uh, on. Yes, yes, or, yes, yes, or no? yes, yes. Where? Show it to me. Where? And we ain't, I ain't killing nobody. Where? Why? You know why? Because our, our men will look at the next black man and want to put him to death to see the white man and say, oh, you get a pass. Bring it up. That's how we act with each other, brother. Yeah. Bring it up. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from bad heritage. See that? That's why I mentioned we need to come back to our identity because we look at each other with hate. You understand? Because our nationality was took. It was gone. They stripped it from you in slavery. You understand that, bro? We ain't got no identity. You understand? So we did. The Bible is here to give you back what you lost. You understand? First Samuel 2 and 8. First Samuel 2 and 8. I'm going to get that for you. We're going to get it. First Samuel 2 and 8. I want to show you what the prophecy says about what, what the Most High God is raising up. Because guess what? We need you, you young men to raise the hell up, man. There's nothing left out here. Your own brothers want to put you to wait, brother. Wait, wait. Very good. I ain't you're, not, for that. you're not supposed to want to. I ain't asked God for that. Listen. Be out here on the street. So like why this? we living like this? And I'm a black brother. So why we living like this? Because I don't know why we living like this. Huh? We got betrayed at one point in time. So what do you mean betrayed? To, like you said about the congressman that was way. Uh, check this out. You know when the Lord was in the synagogue by himself, when he was praying, he called his people, his family. Guess what? They tried to distract us the whole time, these 400 years of slavery. Guess what? In history, they trying to repeat itself. All right, it's so if you don't know who you are, guess what's going to happen? Exactly. History's going to repeat itself. Exactly. Now listen to this. Read. First, two and six and two and eight. The back. Go to here. First Samuel, chapter two, verse eight. Read. He raises up the poor out of the dust. You see what the Bible says? God is raising up the poor. We're the poor, poor in spirit. You understand? He's raising you up out of the dust. If somebody throws dust in your face, what happens to you? You're confused. You understand? He's raising young men up out of the confused state that we're in. We're not confused. These men ain't confused no more. We know what our purpose is, and we know what the mission is. You understand? We getting y'all to see what the mission is. The mission is to raise up, man. Raise up and raise up for your people and your nation. That's the mission right now. One second, read. And lifted up the beggar from the dung hill. Read. The dung hill is America. It's full of crap. You understand? America, everything America offers you is trash. Bring it up. Dung, feces. Bring it up. Read. To set them among princes. What did the Bible say? To do what? To set them among princes. See what the Bible said? To set you men among princes, man. Y'all don't even understand that you're royalty. Y'all know that? Y'all know that? Y'all don't, you young men got young, got, got low self-esteem, man. Y'all got, y'all got to see yourself as greater than what America told you that you are. That's right. You understand? You're royalty. But do we act royal? No, we do not. We act like niggas. Y'all got to raise the hell up, man. Read it again. Read. He raises up the poor out of the dust. Read. 
and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill. And lifted up the beggar out of the dunghill. Read. To set them among princes. To set you men among princes, among gods. Yes. God, the Most High God said that you are a God. That's but right. you don't act like a God. That's Look it right. up. You understand? You don't, we don't do things after the, a God. Read. And to make them inherit the throne of glory. To make you men inherit the throne. Aye. You understand that? Go back now, Genesis 36, 29. So we're going to find out what the word, we're going to go back to Judah. All right? What's your nationality, bro? Judah, you know that. All praise to the Most High. Brother, bro, big man right here, what's your nationality? You know? All right, so I want y'all to hear something. Are you so-called African-American? I want you to hear something, all right? Because guess what? Today you're going to find out you're the greatest thing God ever put on this green earth. That's right. That's right. You understand? Know but we've been made slaves because we broke God's laws. That's so right. what do we got to do? If you are a father and, you're, and you break his rules, what's your father going to do? He's going to punish you, right? Now, are you going to get off punishment while still breaking his rules? So what do we got to re return to? God's laws. That's right. right. You understand that? Yeah. Read. Genesis chapter 29, verse 35. And she could see sis, again. Sis, sis, do you know your nationality? We're teaching our nationality. You know your identity? Are right, well, you so called African American, ma'am? Huh? I'm a you know you're from the tribe of Judah. Very good. So now I want you to hear this scripture about the tribe of Judah. Read. Let's find out what the word Judah means. Read. And she conceived again. And she conceived again. And bear a son. And bear a son. And she said, Now will I praise the Lord. Now will I praise the Lord. Read. Therefore, because she, of that, she called his name Judah. See that? The word Judah means God's praise. The right. praise of God. Right. You know that's what God called you, sister? You are the praise of God. But there's a problem. Wait a minute. If you're the praise of God, there's a people in Israel, what's called Israel today, that's calling themselves a praise of God. Wait a minute. How is your, how is your race, your Judah, you the praise of God, and another people claiming to be the praise of God? Somebody's lying. What? Is, is it you that's lying or the people in Israel today? What do you think? Israel today. Very good. But guess what? I got something for you. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. I want you to hear something. So you know you're from the, all of y'all are right here from the tribe of Judah. You understand? I want y'all to hear something about the tribe. Okay. About Israel. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Bring it up. And now, Israel. Uh huh, Israel. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? You know what God requires of you, sis? Yeah. What does God require? Can you tell me something? <laughs> okay, okay, no worries, no worries, sis. Let me hear. Uh, let, let, me, let me read it to you. Go ahead. But. To fear the Lord thy God. So Israel is required to fear God. Read. To walk in all his ways. We're to walk in his ways. Read. And to love him. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Read. And with all thy soul. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord. What are we required to do? To keep the commandments of the Lord. Because guess what's this? In the Bible, why is Israel always at the bottom wherever they go? Why are they always in slavery, sis? Why did the Assyrians come in and destroy them? Why did the Persian and Medes destroy them? Why did the Babylonians destroy them, the Greeks and the Romans? Why? Why was why did God let that allow that to happen? Very good. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Very good, sis. So for our disobedience, we were made slaves right here in America. You know that, right? Okay. So now, do you think we should remain disobedient? Very good. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Read up. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Read it from the top. The woman. So the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Stop. What do women wear today that pertain to men? 
Very good. So you know you're in the midst of that breaking that law, correct? So now what should you do about that? Very good. We should change it, you agree? Yeah. Are you going to change it? Yeah. Very good. Give me that in um Isaiah 52 and 1. Bring it up. I want you to hear something else. What our women should be wearing is a dress or a skirt, preferably below the knee. You know why it's supposed to be below the knee, sis? Take a while again. Why should your dress or skirt be below the knee? If you sit down and a man is sitting in front of you, what's he going to be able to see while he's inside? You understand? So the dress or the skirt has to be modest. Bring it out! I said, chapter 52, verse 1. Read. Awake! Awake! So the Bible says, wake the hell up. We all got to wake up. We're in a, all in a dead state. Right. Read. Put on thy strength, uh -huh. Uzziah. Uh -huh. Put on thy beautiful garments. Wait a minute. Put on your tight ass pants. Put on thy beautiful garments. Put on the pants with the ripped jeans. Put on thy beautiful garments. You see that, sis? You see what God commanded us, to, the women to do? Put on your beautiful garments. That's right. You understand? Not what you got on now. You understand? Okay, well, praise to the Most High. Nehemiah 10 31. I got something else for you. One more. Nehemiah 10 31. Bring it up. Because Bring guess what? Another Bring one, another law we got to keep and are required to keep is the Lord's Sabbath day. Whoa. Let me ask y'all a question. Yeah, who's ever heard of Camilla, Georgia? Y'all heard of that? You heard of Camilla, Georgia? You know what's going on down there right now? You know they got a, a black mayor was elected and the white folks won't give him the keys to his city hall for two years? Y'all know that? But guess what they all did? They all celebrated Christmas. All the black people down there put all their money into that economy, even though they get it oppressed. Does that make any sense? Does that make sense for the black people to put their money into the economy that's oppressing them? Yes or no? Okay, very good. Read that. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Bring it out. And if the people of the land, if the people of the land bring where? Or any victuals. Product, if the people of the land bring products to you, like we got the East Indian man right here. Down there you got the Korean man. Stop moving around. Okay. On the Sabbath day. When? On the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day, sis. If people bring things to you to buy on the Sabbath day. To sell. To sell it to you. Then we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. You see that, sis? So when the other nations come and they got their stores open, we're not supposed to buy nothing on the Sabbath day. That's God's high holy day. You understand? That's 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 for your, the most high God. Isaiah 58 and 13. You understand? Some things that's today. The Sabbath day is today. You understand? So guess what? If every last black, Hispanic, and Native American, now that we know we've been oppressed here, right? If we all decide, you know what? Let's keep the Sabbath day. I ain't buying crap for 24 hours from America. What eventually would happen to America? What? What? What would happen? Thank you. It would. It would bring America to its knees. Just keeping one law. You understand that? Imagine black people in America stop eating pork. Pork is a 800 billion dollar industry. Bring it out. Imagine we stop eating that thing and took our money out of out of that pork thing. We could make some real noise, man. We didn't have to pick up no guns, no knife. We ain't gotta hit nobody, start riding, throwing, throwing trash all over our neighborhoods. Just by keeping God's laws, you could bring America to its knees. That's, That's right. right. Read. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 13. If thou turn away thy foot. If you turn away your foot. From the Sabbath. From the Sabbath. From doing thy pleasure. On my holy day, uh huh, and call the Sabbath a delight. And you call the Sabbath day delight, meaning you're gonna do whatever you want to do on his day. The holy of the Lord, read, honorable, read, and shall honor him, read, not doing thine own way. What does the Bible say? Not doing thine own way. One more time. Not doing thine own way. Do y'all know what's the Sabbath day today? You know it's the Sabbath day. Today's the Sabbath day, we should not be buying and selling on the Sabbath day. No. Yeah, we're not supposed to do these things. That's your real culture. Okay. Your culture's not Christianity. 
You understand? That's when we learn to, to break the Lord's Sabbath. Bring it up. Our damn slave master. Who are you standing next to? You understand? Yeah. We got to come back to what the Bible says. Yes, sir. Are you, st you going to go break the Sabbath now? I got to. Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. That's why we were made slaves. That's, That's right. Why. What's in the back of your head, your head sis? God. Ah, you, get, you got that on camera, bro? She represented God, but she going to break God's Sabbath day. See how backwards we are? We are a backwards people. Yeah, you, you, you know what? And we're going we gonna to read about what's going to happen to you, too. Read. No, no. No, Bundy. No. Oh, and now you're going to break the Sabbath, right? Now you're going to break the Sabbath, right? Romans 6, 23. Right? See, not, not, now do y'all understand why we made slaves? This is exactly why we were made slaves. We hear the law. We don't give a damn about what God says. We're going to do it anyway. Wicked as hell. Read. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Bring it out. For the wages of sin is death. See what the Bible says? That's the New Testament. God That's says the right. wages of your sin is death. Death, death. Isaiah 56. No, Isaiah 59 and 3. Get out. This is why y'all going to die, man. Y'all continue to break God's laws with no fear. The black and Hispanic man has no fear. Read. Is As that it? Yes. Yeah, read verse 1. Isaiah chapter 59, read verse that. 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. That it cannot save. See that? God said his hand ain't short that it can't save. But you got to return back to God's laws. Right. Read. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Read. But. However. Your iniquity. Your sin. Have separated between you and your God. See what the, see what the Bible says? That's why the Most High is not dealing with us. That's why we go through oppression. Because we're in the midst of sin. He's not dealing with us. I'm, sis, you know about the Sabbath day, sister? You know about the Sabbath day? See that? We don't give two craps about the Most High God's word. Read on. Read it again. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Read. And your sins. And your sins. Have hid his face from you. And your sins is what's hiding his face from you. That's why you got no protection out here. Bring That's it why we get gunned down in the damn street. Right. right. That's exactly why. Because right. you Negroes are wicked as hell. Right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org